Hello guys, hope you are doing good. And in today's session, we are going to talk about the public key and the private key handling for your virtual server that is EC2 instance, which is running into AWS. So the first question which comes in my mind, like why do you need the public key and the private key for your EC2 instance or a virtual server, which is running into AWS? To answer that question, like whenever you're going to start a virtual server that is EC2 machine on AWS, then you don't get a username and password. So if you don't get a username and password, then that means you cannot SSH or you cannot log in into your EC2 instance. So what's the other way? So the other way is you need to have a public key and the private key. Now the next problem is how you are going to create the public key and the private key for your EC2 instance. So there are two ways to create the public key and the private key. The easiest way is just use the keys created by AWS. So whenever you are going to use the AWS console uh, and you are going to create an EC2 instance, so during that process, AWS gives you the private key as well as the public key, which you can download. And later on, you can use it to SSH or to log in into your EC2 instance, which is running into AWS. So that's the first way. The second way is you need to create the public key and the private key by yourself. And then you need to associate those key with the EC2 instance, which is running into AWS. So this is a little difficult way, but once you know this way, then it is going to be the most preferred way because then later on you have a better control on your public key as well as the private key. And you can share those keys with your uh, peers so that it is more securely distributed and later on anyone can use those private key to SSH into your EC2 instance, which is running into AWS. Let's head over to AWS console and we are going to use the approach one where we are going to use the default keys provided by AWS. This is my AWS console and to start with you need to click on the search option and type EC2. Click on this EC2 option. And here uh, on the right hand side you can see the launch instances button which is in orange color. So click on this launch instance because we are going to start a new EC2 instance or the virtual server. And here you can see these are the different options provided by AWS so that uh, you can choose the operating system of your choice that is Amazon Linux, Red Hat, SUSE or Ubuntu. So for this example purpose, I'm just going to use the Ubuntu as my base operating system for my uh, example. So I'm just going to click on select over here. And here you need to choose uh, the type of the CPU which you want or the type of the machine which you want. So here I'm just going to use the T2 micro because I'm just going to use this machine or the virtual server for the demo purpose. Uh, that's why I'm just going to keep the CPU as a bare minimum. And if you need some higher CPU, then you can go for large or X large. So that's up to you. So click on this T2 micro or any CPU of your choice and then click on this. Uh, I'm just going to move myself over here. So you need to click on next configure instance detail on the bottom right hand side corner. And here you can see you need to uh, specify or configure some instance detail. So by default, you don't need to modify anything over here. So simply scroll down and then you click on next add storage. And here you can specify if you need more space by default i'm just going to keep the default one that is 8 gb of my memory uh, of my storage click on next add tags here you can assign some suitable tag name to your ec2 instance so i'm just going to use my ec2 demo that's my tag name then click on next configure security group and here you need to define the ports which you are going to open for your EC2 machine or the virtual server. So I'm just going to keep in mind that I need to open the port 22 because this is the port which we are going to use for SSH or to log in into my EC2 machine. If I don't have this port open, then I will not be able to log in into my EC2 machine or my virtual server. So always remember to keep this port open and the type should be SSH. Click on review and launch. And here you can again verify all the details which we have configured. So it is going to show you the final details like which you are going to before you're going to start your EC2 machine. So just verify those details and then click on this blue launch button on the bottom right side. And here this is the important step which I just wanted to show you. So here uh, AWS will provide you the key which you need to download. So here you can see uh, select a key pair. So by default these are the keys which I have created previously. 
but since we want a fresh key so what you need to do is in the first drop down you need to click on create new key pair so click on it and after that you need to assign some name so you can assign some name let's say demo for ec2 key so this is the name i'm just gonna assign and then you need to click on download key pair and once you click on download key pair then it is going to uh, show you a download option to download the private key and remember this is your private key not public key so this is the key which is generated by aws you have not generated this key so it is by default provided by aws to you so simply click on save file and here you can see you have downloaded the demo for ec2 key okay and after that you can just simply click on the launch instance so it is going to launch this instance using this key that is demo for ec2 key so click on launch instances and here you can see your instance has been launched successfully you can verify the instance detail by going back to your aws dashboard and click on this ec2 and here you can see we have started our instance which is running there is a one more instance which i have previously terminated but that's not we are uh, caring about so i'm just going to click on this instance id and here you can verify the tag name by which we have assigned the tag name so that's my ec2 demo so that's the tag name which we have assigned and our instance is up and running now after verifying that your instance is up and running next we need to do is we need to copy our private key which we have downloaded while launching our ec2 instance so i copied this uh, demo for ec2 key uh, somewhere into my hard disk and the next thing which we need to do over here is we need to change the permission because by default it will have some uh, more permission assigned to it but we need to reduce those permission so that we are going to do the next step but remember to copy it somewhere and the next thing which we need to do after that is you need to open the terminal to change the permission of this file so right now you can see over here so this is the path like home rahul jehu keys and demo so that's the same path uh, where my terminal is and i can verify the file name by running the ls command so i'm just gonna change the permission of this file first the command which i'm gonna run to change the permission over here is the ch mode command so i'm just gonna run the command ch mode and then i'm just gonna assign the permission that 400 and then my private key name and after that you can just simply hit enter now after changing the permission next thing what you need to do is you need to go back to your aws console and this is the instance detail which is running and you need to click on this connect option on the top right side so click on connect and here you will find the option to ssh or to login into your ec2 instance using your private key so here you will find the same instruction that is ch mode 400 so that's what i told you to change the permission that's we have done it and the next thing which you need to do is you need to copy the ssh command so here you can find the ssh command that will help you to log in into your virtual machine from your local machine so just simply copy this ssh command and go back to your uh, terminal uh, from where we have changed the permission so what you need to do is you need to simply paste the command i'm just going to explain how this command works so this is the ssh keyword after that we have specified our Pri private key and after that we have specified our private or the ec2 instance uh, public ip or the public domain name where our ec2 instance is running so this is the uh, ip address or the public ip domain of my ec2 instance so after copying this command you just simply need to hit enter and here you can see this is my instance which is running on aws and i'm able to ssh or i'm able to log in into my private key using my private key and here this is my ip address of my private is or my ec2 instance and this ip address can be verified by use uh, clicking on this instance detail and here you can see uh, i think this should be 172.31.7.177 so this is my private ip address and this ip address should match here also so 172 31 7 177 so that means we are able to start our ec2 instance and we are able to ssh or login into our ec2 instance using the private key and after login you can just run simply all the commands that is ls or clear 
and this is uh, your virtual machine uh, which is running on ubuntu is up and running and here you can perform whatever task like you want to install something then you can just install it and uh, run it okay so now what we have done so far is like we have created an ec2 instance and we have used the private key which is generated by aws and use that key to ssh into my ec2 instance so that's our first and easiest way to create the private key and use that private key for ssh into the ec2 instance now the second way is where we are going to create this public key as well as the private key by ourselves, and later on we are going to use that key to ssh into my ec2 instance so let's head back to my desktop and first of all let's create this key pair and after using uh, creating those key pair we are going to start in our ec2 instance the first thing which you need to do is you need to generate the key pair that is public key and the private key so along with this session i'm just going to share this guide with you and you will find the link of this guide into the description section so all the command which i am going to use to generate the key you will find uh, in this guide so the first command which we are going to use is ssh keygen uh, followed by the bits which is 2048 so that's the bit we are going to assign to generate our public key and the private key so copy this command from here go back to your terminal and paste the command and hit enter it is going to ask for the destination by default it is going to create your files over here with the name id underscore rsa but i don't want to use this default name i just want to i just want to have the custom name to my public key and the private key so what i'm going to do i'm just going to specify the path over here so i'm just going to copy my path name and the path name which i'm going to use over here is this one and here i'm just going to assign my key so a uh, key name over here so key for demo and i'm just going to put two so that i don't create a duplicate key and simply i'm just going to hit enter and it is going to ask for the pass phrase so what does it mean so are you want to assign some password uh, to your key pair file so i'm just going to skip it i'm just not going to assign any password and again hit enter uh, if you don't want to assign anything so this is how you're going to create the public key and the private key pair and you can verify the keys which has been generated using this command by running the command ls uh, sorry i'm not into that part so i'm just gonna again uh, go back to my path so the my path is home rahul jehu keys so i'm just gonna copy this path uh, go to that path i'll clear the screen and i'm just gonna run the command ls so here you can see these are the two keys like key for demo 2 that is one and key for demo 2 dot pub that is two so the file with the without extension that is going to be our private key and the file with the pub extension is going to be my public key so you will get always two key one is public key with the dot pub extension and the key without any extension is going to be your private key now we have created our public key and private key manually by ourselves the next thing which we need to do over here is we need to upload the public key to aws console so that our manual key which we have generated is available on our aws here is my aws console again and here on the search box you need to type the key pair and uh, you should find an option for a key pair over here in the into the feature section so here this is the key pair option uh, of my aws so click on key pairs and here you can see all the keys which i have generated previously but this time i'm just going to upload my seventh key and the key which i have generated for uh, generated by myself so click on to the action click on import key pair and here you need to specify the name so again we are going to use the same name so i'll clear the console over here and if i do the ls then i can find my key name so the key name over here is key for demo 2 so copy the key name from here go and paste it over here click on this browse button to upload your public key remember you don't need to upload your private key we are just going to upload the public key so click on it click open and here you can see the public key part has been copied over here simply you need to click on import key pair and here you can see now we are having seven key and our key for demo has been uploaded successfully 
After uploading the public key, now what you need to do is you need to click on EC2. You can click on this orange button launch instances here also or either you can uh, go on instance over here. And here you will also find a launch instance button. So click on this launch instance because we are going to launch the EC2 instance again and then we are going to use the key pair which we have just uploaded or, or the public key which we have just up uploaded. So here I'm just going to use the Ubuntu as my uh, image. So I'm just going to select the Ubuntu. And here I'm just again going to use the T2 micro and click on next configure instance detail. Keeping everything default, I'm just going to simply click on next aid storage. I'm just also going to keep the size as 8 GB, whatever default it is available to me. Click on add tax. Uh, I'm just keeping the add tags. It's just an optional. Uh, if you need it, you can just simply add the tags of your choice. Then click on configure security group and always remember to open the port 22 and the type should be SSH. Otherwise, you will not be able to SSH or login into your EC2 instance. So click on review and launch. And here you can again verify all the details which we have just configured before launching our EC2 instance. Now click on the launch button. And here, this is the important step now. Previously, in the previous step, we, what we have done, we have created the new key pair. But this time, we are going to use our key pair, which we have just uploaded. So we have uploaded the public key. And the public key name is key for demo 2 So that's the public key, which we have just uploaded. So select this one. And this option will pop up once you upload your key over here. So if you don't upload any public key, then this uh, key name will not come over here. After that, you need to click on this checkbox where it says like, I acknowledge that I have access to the corresponding private key file. So yes, I have the private key file uh, with me and the public key file I have already uploaded to AWS console. And after that, you need to click on the launch instances. And here you can see our instance has been launched. Coming back to my EC2 dashboard again, and here I can see my instance is up and running. So click on this instance ID over here. And always remember to check the instance stat, it should be running and that is there. So click on this connect option on the top right side. And here we need to copy the SSH command and always remember to check the key file name. That should be the same key name which you have created manually for onto your system. So copy this SSH command from here, go back to your terminal and go back to the directory where our uh, private key file is. So just verify whether you're into the same directory where your private key file is. So yeah, I'm into the same directory where my private key file exists. So I'm just going to simply paste my command for SSH into and always remember to remove this dot prime extension from this uh, command because we have generated the public key and private key, but our private key doesn't contains any extension. So that's why I'm just going to simply remove that extension. Hit enter, type yes. And here you can see we are able to SSH into our EC2 instance using my own public and private key, which I have generated. So here you can see the private IP uh, that is 172, 31, 4 and 163. So which you can verify again whether it's the correct instance. So here you can see 172, 31, 4 and 163. So which is same as the instance which I have just logged in. So I hope you liked the today's session on how to handle the public key and the private key and how to use them onto your AWS account and how to start your EC2 instance. So if you have any question related to today's session, then please put down into the comment section. And also, if you know a different ways to generate the keys, then please let me know also into the comment section. It would be really helpful to know all the different options which are available. So if you like the today's session and if you are interested into the similar concepts on Terraform, Kubernetes, Helm chart, then please do follow my channel where I keep on uploading the similar content on a weekly basis. And also you can find me on a web with the name jhook.com where I keep on uploading the guides which I generally prepare for this kind of a lab session. So all the commands which I generally put or use into the lab session are available onto those blog posts. So you can check those blog posts also. So see you into the next session of DevOps. Uh, till then, bye-bye and take care. See you.